For this installation, you're gonna need a four millimeter hex key, your controller. Uh, we're using the bar mount controller for a straight bar. This is a Scotts Pro 18. Our, we're gonna also use a drill for our hex and you're going to need some way to wire up um, your connections. I suggest the Wago or Wago, however you wanna say it, connectors. These come with the RMM Pro wiring kit. And you can also use twist caps. You could use um, crimp connectors. There's lots of different ways you could solder if you wanted to, but uh, we're gonna use these because they're really quick and easy. You can get them on Amazon. I'll provide a link in the description. Okay, first thing we're gonna do here is cut this off. And then we're going to take these screws and thread them. You might need the hex key to do this. Okay. All right, once you have that free, then we're gonna to move to the bars. Okay, um, very easy to mount the controller. All you gotta do is fit it up to the slot there, put on the top piece, and you can just hand thread to get these going. You do wanna thread them down evenly so it doesn't torque the, um, position of the plate. So we'll grab our tool. Get that one started. There we go. Now don't tighten it all the way because we want to make sure that it's centered real quick here. So before you tighten it down, you want to make sure that it, there's equal space on both sides so it looks good. That looks pretty close. And then as far as the angle here, I just kind of line it up with the way that the bar goes. Okay, so we'll go ahead and tighten the rest of these down all the way. And you don't need to torque these down crazy. It's got plenty of grip. It's nice and hand tight. Okay, now we're gonna route our wiring harness down the bars here. All right, we're gonna be using the RMM Pro wiring kit. It comes with these Velcro ties to run the harness and route that. If you don't have that, you can just use zip ties. Uh, it's really easy to do it that way as well. These just are a little wider and look a little cleaner. Okay, so there is a little bit of a trick to installing these. The first thing you wanna do is actually go around the wire itself and thread it through this little slot on the tab. That way, Whenever you try to wrap it, it won't spin. Okay, and then you just basically wrap it around and it latches onto itself. I usually start one right by the box right there. And then the next one. Goes right about here. there and then just basically work your way down the bars all the way till you get down to about right about where this angle is here on the bracket okay so just to show you how we like to route them one here one right on the bend one about where this first bolt is one in the middle of this space here one right where this bend is, and then one kind of right where we're gonna make the turn. Okay, for the T-bar style speed controller install, super simple, it's just two bolts. All you're gonna do is loosen that, loosen that, so this comes apart, and then you'll clamp it down. I start um, below this little knob here. There's a little play there, you can kind of put it where you want it, but that's about where I'd recommend. 
and then you just tighten those and this is supposed to flex just a little but basically you're just going to clamp that down and it gets a nice hold so it won't slide around then you just run your wire right down the bars here all the way to the deck and you're in business super easy so when you're finished it'll look like that